name's Niall. I'm one of the lead developers here at Hycon at Glossifer. Glossifer is primarily a blockchain company. It specializes in providing blockchain-based solutions to various industrial or public projects. One of our projects, of course, is a cryptocurrency project, but there are many others. 안녕하세요. 제 소개 먼저 드리겠습니다. 저는 글로스퍼 기술 개발 본부에서 일하고 있는 개발자 김지민입니다. 저는 현재 인피니티 프로젝트에서 하이콘 개발에 함께 참여하고 있습니다. Hi, I'm Owen. I'm a developer at Glossifer. I spend most of my time teaching other engineers about blockchain and reading the research that's being done about blockchain. I think there are a lot of people who are curious about blockchain but don't understand it entirely. It doesn't have to be money that's stored in the system. Really, we can use it in any way we want to store public data. Looking at Hycon, our goal with the project was to build a blockchain that could handle high numbers of transactions with quick confirmations. It was about building something that had on-chain high throughput. So a blockchain is a series of connected blocks of data. These blocks are connected by each new block containing a reference to the previous block in the chain. And these references point backwards in time to the beginning of the chain, which is called the Genesis block. Blocks themselves will contain these references to the previous blocks. It will contain the time it was posted, some various other bits of metadata, and some information such as transactions. Really, any data could be stored in a blockchain. So you could store information about a supply chain. It's important that we know where our food comes from and which companies were responsible for keeping it safe and healthy. However, some other really interesting ones that I've seen are in things like supply chain management. It's possible to use a combination of blockchain and RFID tags to track the ingredients in a product right from the beginning of its manufacture process until the point of sale when you buy it. So you can see where every single part of the thing you bought has been and what state it was at in each stage of the process, which I think is a really interesting idea. Hycon에 주목해야 되는 이유에 대해서 말씀드리겠습니다. Hycon은 현 블록체인의 문제점 그리고 한계를 보완한 암호화폐입니다. Hycon에 주목해야 할 이유로는 높은 속도 그리고 높은 보안성 그리고 높은 확장성 등이 있지만 One of the ways you can increase throughput is by publishing lots of blocks in a short amount of time. Because each block contains a number of transactions, and if you have lots of blocks coming very quickly, you have more transactions, so more throughput. Infinity Project에서는 처리량의 이슈를 굉장히 중요하게 생각했습니다. 저희는 이러한 이슈에 대한 해결책으로 바로 DEC 구조와 스펙터 알고리즘을 사용했습니다. DEC 구조와 스펙터 알고리즘을 사용해서 속도가 빨라졌으며, 1초에 기존 블록체인보다 훨씬 더 많은 개수의 트랜잭션을 처리할 수 있게 되었습니다. The only real difference between a blockchain and a DAG is that in a blockchain, each block has one prior block. But in a DAG, each block can have many previous blocks, allowing it to branch out and come back together again. More like a web as opposed to a chain. So the real challenge in designing a blockchain network is all operations on the data within it have to achieve consensus. Every participant must agree on what happens to the data. Any disagreement is a problem that needs to be resolved. There are various algorithms that can be used to maintain consensus. Uh, if you look at something like Bitcoin, um, or Hycon for that matter, a method called proof of work is used where the computers connected to the system have to solve computationally hard problems. You've got things like proof of stake. Stakeholders will put a large amount of coin on their node saying, look, I'm trusted. I should have a chance to publish a block. There's another one called proof of capacity where you essentially store a very large file and your proof that you have it is by reading random bytes from that file. So when people who are buying cryptocurrencies hear the word fork, it usually means a project that is becoming two projects. So in, for example, you've got Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. The history of these two cryptocurrencies is the same, but at some point, they decided to change the software such that there's now two states that the ledger is in that is different. But the, the history is the same. In the context of uh, Spectre and Hycon, we allow our cryptocurrency to fork. And this, in most cryptocurrencies, would create a problem with consensus where one part of the network believes one thing and another part of the network believes another thing. 
If there was a double spend where someone had spent their money twice in these two parts, it would be very difficult to resolve this. And the way that most cryptocurrencies do this is they just reject and throw away half of the blocks, which is a problem because there's also genuine transactions in there. Spectre is, it's kind of like an ordering system. It allows you to put blocks in an order just between pairs of blocks. So if there is a problem between two blocks, say a double spend, when you run the Spectre algorithm, it allows you to give one block precedence over the other. So you can apply the transactions in one block and then apply the transactions in the second block. And if there's a problem, you just throw away the offending transaction, rather than the case of Bitcoin where all the transactions are thrown away and added to the mempool again. If you look at how financial institutions have worked traditionally, you're looking at these monolithic centralized institutions that control the flow of money all around the world. What blockchain, or at least some blockchain products, attempt to do is to decentralize that and put kind of the power back in the people. If you add more users outside of that, they're adding their own hash power in opposition to that, and it makes it harder and harder for anyone to get a controlling share of the network. That's why mass participation is very important to securing the network. I think ultimately, soon, we'll start seeing many more projects using blockchain to store public data. So rather than telling you what I think, I'd like to hear your questions and try and help you understand.